What's going on guys, Bengal again here, and today as you can see, we're doing a 97 overall Steven Strasburg debut. Now, I did happen to pack him twice. I sold the first one for 75k, uh, and then quick flipped the second one. So I figured, you know what, it's a sign. We're going to do a Steven Strasburg video. Why not? We're going to take out, let's see, uh, I'll take out Otani for right now. But 97 Steven, Steven Strasburg's interesting. That's kind of as much as I would say about him. I feel like he's like a watered down Jacob deGrom. I think that's like the closest comparison. As long, like if you if you think about the pitch mix and things like that. But Strasburg, he could be decent. 98 four seam, 78 curve, 84 change, 96 two seam, 90 slider. He got 94 hit per nine, 108 K per nine. And it looks like he's decently easy enough to control. 95 on the four seam. 98 on the curveball could be interesting. 88 on the change. 83 two seam. 78 slider. And that's for pitch break. 99 on the curve and change. 87 on the slider. I don't care about fastball pitch break. He could be interesting. So we're going to give him a shot today. I've added Pete Alonso to the team. And uh, as you can see, these are the big league boys. You're used to seeing them crazy game yesterday i still it's hard to be good on hall of fame when i don't play hall of fame regularly do a lot of all-star battle royaling on stream if you guys want to check that out link is in the description twitch.tv slash bangle let's go ahead and hop into a game here and see what strasburg's all about hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already scroll down do me that little favor make sure you're subscribed and uh, let's see if Strasburg could actually be a legitimate starting pitcher option for your Diamond Dynasty team. He's got DeGrom on the mound. He's got a very solid team. Not amazing, but very solid. Hopefully Strasburg can shut down the lineup. I'm excited to see how good that curveball is. I hope it's really good. I'm excited for it. Don't let me down, Stras. All right, so we're going to test him with the four seam right away. Ooh, okay. So I like... I like... Strasburg in terms of his delivery speed. I feel like that's pretty good. A little bit early there. Got to get used to it. The curveball, I don't know. It has a little bit more of a wider window than I would have expected. 3-0 already. I'm just releasing the ball too early. Finally got a strike in there. But we're going to be talking about, you know, every single pitch I throw pretty much and what I'm trying to do with each one. Knew he was going to load up on the fastball up and in there expecting a fastball so we go with a change up let me see if i can just drop the curveball in there and i just have to hold it and wait back a little bit longer just way too many early releases first at bat with the card or first batter so it's gonna take a time or two to get adjusted to the way he delivers the baseball but it could be okay this guy definitely is not bad which is unfortunate when debuting a pitcher card you want somebody who's gonna be swinging away at everything who's going to be really bad, make the pitcher look awesome. But if I'm leaving pitches down the middle, this could get ugly quickly. Let's try the slider. It gets up to 92. That's why I kind of compared him to DeGrom, just because he has that power slider. And just like similar velos kind of all the way around. And that slider could be really effective. And his, his K per nine is going to result in a lot of strikeouts. That one is going to be looped in the left field, but... We are there with Nick Cassianos to make the play. Moved him out to left field. Wanted to get Big Me Pete in the squad. And Tatis Jr. starts us off with a single the other way. He's a guy who homers legitimately every single game I use him in. So that's not going to be this at bat, but hopefully later. And that's going to be a double play. I mean, it's a great slider. 1-2. Didn't really think we'd be hitting into a double play, obviously. But it would have been better than striking out looking in my head. But yeah, double play. Chances... Just didn't go in our favor this time. Okay, we gotta be gotta be more disciplined against Jacob deGrom. I think that much is gonna be clear. So it is really unfortunate that Strasburg doesn't have sinker or cutter. Those are obviously the two best pitches in the game if you play any of MLB The Show 21. It's very obvious you need at least one of those pitches to be successful more often than not against good players. Against like whatever players you can get by. Good curveball for the strikeout. But against good players, you need those top two pitches. But Strasburg could be viable against a player like this who's decent, but not exceptional. I love the changeup. The control on that thing's amazing. 
you can just consistently throw this right below the zone, get swings and misses, or what we could do is try and throw this lower and then come back with the fastball. I mean, is this just too predictable? It might be. Oh, we definitely had him. We definitely had him. But I did not locate it. What about the curveball? Got the swing. It's going to be a tough play for Tatis. That thing gets up the middle. We had the strikeout. I just missed my spot on the fastball. Really annoying. That curveball has a lot of break, though. It has a lot of break. I think you're probably going to want to throw the slider more still. The curveball is just one of those pitches that... It just has a tendency to get killed if you leave it in the zone. I've been trying to throw it for a strike, but I think that slider still going to be a good pitch. Like, it's got some pretty good movement. And then after you get a flail like that, you can come back with a fastball, kind of tunnel it in the same spot, and uh, do quite well there. But I think slider, curveball, if you throw those two pitches off each other, they could be pretty successful. Castellanos, that one's going to get to the third baseman. Blocked down over there, but Castellanos does leg it out. I don't know who's over at third base for him, but that was nearly a hit down the line. Really good pitch. DeGrom's tough away from the pitcher spot, so we are trying to swing away here and get on one. I don't want bases loaded for my pitcher. I want to drive in some runs here. It would have been nice to clear the pitcher spot in the batting order, but we got to think about driving in runs there. Oh, and that's going to bleed over the head of the first baseman. Unlucky. I don't think we've seen this four-seam fastball at 100 yet. It's been about 99, 98, sometimes even less. He's really trying to get on it with DeGrom. He's ready to turn and burn. And that one is ripped. That might be a home run. That might be a home run. Oh, it's, at the, it's off the very top of the wall. Please get it, Trout. Please get it. <laughs> He's going to have third. Uh, that's wild pitch was not where I wanted it to be way too high and I'm just releasing the ball way too early we're gonna have to settle for a double play here we'll trade the run for two outs damn just one mistake pitch of releasing the ball too early I keep doing that with Strasburg I just have to hold on later and we're gonna be a little bit late there but it might be just late enough Strasburg bloops it in we're gonna hold at one we're gonna hold at one all right, so he got a little lucky hit to start his inning. And same with me there. We need to get the bat around earlier on that pitch. Oh, and I did just there, but I'm so early. He's going to go to two. Okay. Tatis gets to first on the fielder's choice. We have a really good opportunity to get second just because he's so fast. Hit into a double play to start the game. Might try and take second. Oh, that was a pitch to hit, though. A little bit early. I feel like I squared it up, though. A little bit underneath. Let's try and take two. Maybe he should have been swinging there. We might be hosed. We are safe. Fernando swipes second. Let's try and take third. Oh, he had it too. Just hanging slider. I gotta hit on. I gotta hit these mistake pitches, man. I have to. And we're gonna fly out there. Just to foul territory. I'm missing way too many mistakes. Missing way too many mistakes. And I give him the opportunity to make a better pitch. Killing me. Yep, got me with the two-seamer. I'm just lost at the plate. I keep trying to change my approach, and it's not working. I'm overthinking it too much, and it's leading to very, very bad results. I've missed a lot of mistakes. Like, he's throwing me sliders, fastballs, change-ups, curveballs down the middle. Like, right in that spot. And I'm under it every time. I'm late. I'm early. I'm fouling it off. I'm, I'm just off everything. Can we get this slider breaking in the front door? He was ready for it. Maybe he's trying to protect the fastball on the inside. We'll try the curveball. Slowed it down. And he ripped it out. Good swing. I mean, with a player like this, he's kind of struggling the same way I am. To where he's like jamming the PCI and not being precise with it. So if you throw a pitch there, like straight down, it's an easy pitch to hit. It's just an easy pitch to hit. If you throw a fastball down the middle, they can't do anything with it. He's under it. That's the same thing I've been doing all game. It's uh, really frustrating, but I, I put a pitch in a bad spot for the situation. Like, I don't think he even touches this, but we'll see. Oh, she'd be late, be great. 
Not even just late, just actually late. Got a double on it. Brutal. And we get a bad swing. Out number three. We're down by two, though. I'm not feeling too bad in this game. I still feel like I'm in control, even though I'm down two nothing. I think we've pitched fairly well with Strasburg. It was one mistake pitch with the curveball, even though it was in a beautiful spot. It's just too easy of a spot to hit. And then, you know, a couple flukes here and there. I'm still feeling pretty good about it. We just need to start making better swings at the plate. I've gotten some mistake pitches, haven't done anything with them. DeGrom's really tough, but I have to be better individually. Cassiano script and rips. See, that's like one of the only spots I can hit right now. He's just straight down, down and in, down and away. He hasn't really thrown up too often, come to think of it. There it is, Acuna, he threw it straight down. Big mistake, I don't think Buxton's getting to it. He's not, it's off the wall. We're gonna send Castellanos home. Acuna's still going. He's not even getting the ball in. We're gonna send him around. I got way too aggressive there. We're gonna hold it three. <laughs> We're gonna hold it three with one out. Let's not get too insane. That was brain dead. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you have to be aggressive. With two outs, I maybe send him there. With two outs, I probably send him. With one out, though, nah. I still think we can hit the ball hard enough to get him in. Oh, that was the pitch. That was the pitch. He threw it down. I wonder if he's starting to realize that's the only spot I can hit. Change up. That's strike three. Oh, check swings don't exist. Change up. That's not strike three, but my Mike Trout swing was. That's frustrating. Fastball up, blew him away. Grom's just tough. It kind of gets me out of my approach. The outlier fastball is just a tough pitch to get on a lot of the time. Just is. So we just need to uh, just try to be a little bit better. And if we get a little bit better every inning, I think we're going to score some runs, win the game. But we just have to be a little bit better right now. There it is. Fernando Tatis Jr. Deep to left. That one headed for the scoreboard and it hits it. Fernando, as he does every game, hits a homer, ties it up at two. This one had no doubt about it. He threw me a fastball down. It's the only pitch he can't throw because I'll hit it. And he made a big mistake. Oh, great swing. Chipper, that one goes out of here. Back to back. No doubter. We're going to take a 3-2 lead. Threw me a fastball in, got the PCI to it. I'm getting a little bit better. As I talked about, a little bit better every inning, and we're going to start putting up some runs. That one was critical. Ah, good curveball. If that's a little bit higher, I think we can elevate that and hit it out. Still a good swing, just a better pitch in this case. Ooh, I'm, I'm putting pretty good swings on the ball. That one's just a really tough pitch, but I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. I think when I start all the way down and work up, I'm just way better than trying to be in like a weird intermediate area. It's just how I hit. It's hold it down and work up. It's better than jamming down. It's better than jamming down because I can still get to the high pitch, still time it up. I know that's the curveball. It's only 84, but a big time double from Kyle Schwarber. I just feel better. My timing's better. My PCI placement's better. I just have to start low and work up. I have to. Three and one to Cassianos. Green light. But the ball is low. Acuna comes up. Runners on first and second. Two down. NL East versus NL East. Acuna versus DeGrom. We're getting Acuna's average up. He started out 0 for like 5 at least for me. I think we started this video at 226. Maybe. Or 222 or something like that. Now up to 286. Here's a 3-1, huge pitch. Throw me a fastball, down. Oh, it's a changeup. Great time for it, honestly. Great time for it. Curveball! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Early. Come on, Acuna. Got it past me. I don't know where I missed on that. I guess I just didn't get up to it. Ground ball, this could be two. 99 speed's gonna be tough. Fernando's got a great arm, but Buxton flying down the line never really had a chance he's gonna even try and take third here this actually is gonna work out for the best because Acuna's got a really strong arm momentum's gonna take him away though and we, I mean we're not even close to getting Buxton back on the retreat Buxton gonna try and swipe third again and once again it's blocked 
I don't care though. Like the runner doesn't matter as long as I can get an out. As long as David Justice gets out, we're gonna be golden. And I'm gonna go back to the fastball. Yeah, he's trying to protect on the slider. Um, I've kind of just been working the same pitches inside to lefty. He's gonna try and steal home. That one's gonna be up the middle for a hit. Are you kidding me? He scooped it off the ground to tie it up. And that should be the third out of the inning. Trout's there in center. It's a tie ball game. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Gotta love it. Let's see if we can continue our hot hitting against a now more tired DeGrom. Or does he go to the bullpen? Looks like he's going to try and at least get through Trout. Could be a really good time to take advantage. He is going to be getting a lot of sliders with two strikes. And I'll just push it off the plate. And if he thinks he can start taking the slider, I'm just going to start throwing the fastball and get it for a strike. Like he might think the slider's coming here, 0-2. I left it right down the middle. Uh, I don't know why I'm bad with pinpoint lately. Like, I know they nerfed it, but it's not like it's harder to push down to the spot. I'm just not doing it sometimes. Let's go with the curveball. This dude's R2-ing me now. Kind of a weird move here, top of the eighth. I don't know if he's just trying to throw me off. It's kind of a weird play, but he's going to strike out again. All we need is one run to go on top. We've been holding him. Schwarber's going to stay in the game, I guess. Why not? Let's see if we can get on one. He did. Can't be missing that. And I'm on top and very early. Probably going to go back to the slider. Went to the changeup. Squared it up and lined out. And the slider gets him. Alonzo, not exactly feeling that the right way, does make the play. Still three runs apiece. Still eight hits apiece. And... I mean, Gregory Soto still has all the energy in the world at 24 pitches. What is his stamina? Should have walked off on that. I can't miss that. A good me doesn't miss that pitch, and I'm missing it. Soriano shoots that back up the middle. It's not too bad of a hit. Do I take Strasburg out of the game? What are his hitting numbers? We're going to at least think about it. <laughs> We're going to get... Soto and Mo moving in the pen. What are his hitting numbers? 25 power left, 10 contact left. We might leave him in. It's his video. Let's try and make a play. He thinks I'm going to bunt, which means I just have to pull the ball. I just have to pull the ball over the head of the third baseman. We're past him. We can do this. I just have to remember what I do when I'm good. Strasburg! <laughs> oh, I had the right idea. Listen. Yeah, you should have pinched it. Yeah, I know. I know I should have. But we're having fun. It's Strasburg's video. I'm leaving him in. We can get him. We can get the lead runner. Bye bye. Bye bye. I've been disconnected from MLB The Show Online. What do you mean? Are you kidding me? That's how I'm going to lose? Oh, this, this game is terrible. Um, that, that is, uh, that is beyond ridiculous. Just disconnect like that. In extra innings. <laughs> Don't even get a chance to hit. Stupid game. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Since ain't I hit at the park, Ben Bones. See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Playing with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.